Tomorrow night, I have to go to a dinner with my most important client. There's a chance that he'll be like, oh, okay. And he'll just be kind of pissed at me all night. And who knows? Maybe he'll say, well, good. I'm glad. You know, you seems like you always drink too much. Although I'll say that it's not just the high, it's the social part of it, right? I struggle with that. Tomorrow night, I have to go to a dinner with um, my, um, my most important client. And he loves his wine. We always drink wine. We do this, you know, at least four times a year. We get together for dinner um, so he can show off a bunch of wines he picked out. And he loves it. And that's tomorrow for me. Okay. That's going to be a challenge. So, but. It might be a challenge. It might be a chance for you to really remind yourself of who you really are. Yeah. Yeah. Um, when you use the word challenge, what what do you anticipate might be the biggest challenge? So when I play it out in my mind and I say that uh, oh, I'm experimenting with an alcohol-free lifestyle for a while, I want to see what happens to my body and my brain if I take, you know, like 90 days off. So and I'm in the middle of that. So would love to have these wines, but you know, tonight I'm just all sparkling water. Be, oh, come on, right? Come on, I got this. You, I know you're going to love this one. This is going to be great. You know, just one isn't going to ruin anything that you're doing. It's not going to affect your. Is it? Yeah. So just try the Chardonnay and try the the Pinot. This Pinot I've been looking for for a while, and I finally got it. So um, it's just one night, Scott. Mm. Or do you feel fairly certain that that will be the experience? I'd put that at about 40% chance. Okay. So there's a chance that he'll be like, oh, okay. And he'll just be kind of pissed at me all night, um, which isn't great. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Is, hey, I'm so glad you brought this up because, boy, we are amazing storytellers, aren't we? We mm -hmm. can forecast the future. We know what, what everyone's going to say and think when we, when we order a club soda. You know, the world may, in fact, stop spinning on its axis if we don't drink the wine. Um, I get it. I totally get it, Scott. And, you know, look, the point is, we don't have to share the whole thing. It's no one's business, first of all. Um, we are also <clears throat> not 20. <laughs> yeah. There are a zillion reasons why someone may not drink on a particular day. Right? So you don't have to put everything out there. Oh, man, you should have seen the way I was behaving. And I couldn't stop thinking about drinking. Or, or, or. No. It can be anything. You know, it hasn't been agreeing with me lately. It gives me headaches. Oh, we'll try this variety. I've tried a bunch of different ones. It's just not agreeing with me. I'm just going to take a break. I have blood work coming up. whatever, right? It's very trendy for people in their 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, and beyond to be proactive with their health. So we don't have to tell them it's forever. We don't even have to use the word forever, ever. <laughs> Sound like Taylor Swift, ever, ever. Um, but you can just not drink. Say, you know, I'm just not drinking today. And he may or may not come back with stuff. We don't know. What we do know is that you don't need to taste that rare special variety. You don't need to. We've all tasted enough. And whether it's the jug on the bottom shelf or this rare variety, the biochemical reactions are exactly the same. It creates the same cascade in our brain. That is true. Mm-hmm. And Scott, you know, tomorrow would be a great opportunity for you to pull out, uh, maybe on the way to the event. Hey guys, I'm checking in. 
I'm committed. It might be a cakewalk. It might be so easy. It might be challenging. Regardless, based on your description, you've got it what it takes. Thank you. And who knows? Maybe he'll say, well, good, I'm glad. You know, you seems like you always drink too much. I'm, I'm, <laughs> Right. More for him. <laughs> uh -huh, yeah, more. That would have been my reaction back in the day. You're not drinking? Hooray, I don't have to share. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Look, Skype, I mean, we, guys, we have enough trouble fi finding out what's going on between our ears. I'm not trying to figure out what's going on between anyone else's, right? <laughs> That's right. Yeah, but Scott, you're chasing something more important. And so whatever happens, it'll be all right.